So we're going to talk about Fetch AI. Fetch AI is sitting at 1.482. And unlike the other coins, um, I make 10 videos a day, uh, I cover 10 coins, I put them on YouTube, I don't put them anywhere else. If you're not subscribed, you wouldn't notice, uh, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. We looked at uh, Brett and Pepe, it was literally sitting on its support, but that is not the case with Fetch AI. Fetch AI is actually sitting very close to its resistance. And the concept goes very simple that um, when it's in resistance, it either breaks it. If it doesn't break, that indicates it's going to go drop towards the support. And the support of uh, Fetch AI is at $1.1. So its resistance is at 1.5 where it is sitting right now. You can see it's 1.48. It's very close to its resistance of 1.5. Of course, it has made its attempts, but these are wicks. It's not um, body candles. It didn't. It couldn't go above it and start living above it uh, to begin with. Uh, forget about forming two candles. And right now it is struggling. So how do we know that it is actually going to 100% go towards 1.1 and the area of uh, indication is at 1.3. 1.3 is a mini support. If it, is, if it holds 1.3 because the market is going to do a bit of retracement which means the market is going to correct. There is a probability of that happening. Considering that, we can expect Fetch AI to correct as well. Um, so if it wants to correct, it can correct up to 1.3, but it shouldn't break 1.3. If that happens, then it's going to go towards 1.1 and we don't want that to happen. That is going to be all the way back towards where it started. It is 1.1 and it will go all the way down. Fetch AI is already struggling with it. Now let's talk about what happens if it breaks its resistance. The rule is simple. If it wants to break its resistance, it needs to break above it, spend eight hours there with its full body candle, and on, which means two candles above it, because it's four hours. I have explained this so many times in other videos. It needs to go above 1.5, start living above it, and um, its neighbors, sorry for the sounds, um, 1.5 and only after that what will happen is that it will start its journey towards 1.9 and we can say that now 1.5 is conquered by Fetch AI and now it has started its journey towards 1.9 but for that it needs to break the resistance if it doesn't do it that only means one thing that it is going to go down and test the mini support at 1.3 if that breaks then it is going to go towards 1.1 which is the only support that uh, Fetch AI has relied on in this past week or more and it has turned into a reliable support for Fetch AI, something to fall back on to. So we will call it the ultimate support. <laughs> and if that breaks, then after that, uh, Fetch AI can drop as much as it wants. It will become that bad. That will just declare that now the overall trust of the market is gone in Fetch AI. But let's not be dramatic. It is sitting in, in its resistance. It's not sitting on its support. We shouldn't talk <laughs> bad about it. It's just that uh, when it is in resistance, we need to talk about retracements towards the down, as I have mentioned already.